when things are going really bad like this, somebody's making money. Turning on the news, it's just constant negative. Yeah, that's they're what on, I was gonna say. They're on social media, it's constant negative, and it's just everyone's right. They're trying to tell you about how it's right. Yeah. They're right, they're right, they're right. And your purpose is for me too. You've gone off purpose. So what would you say for somebody like right, they want to make money, they want to get back to their goals before this all this nonsense happened, they were super motivated. How do they get back to it? The question I would ask is is your living made by watching TV. Like, are you a media analyst? Is that your job? That's not my job. Because if so, then keep watching the media and do your analysis in your body. Yeah. If your job, if you don't make a living watching the media, watching the news, then why, why are you doing that? It'd be like saying, oh man, I got stuck playing video games all the time. How do I how do I get more work? I'm like, well, maybe not playing so much video games. I mean, I understand. I used to play a lot of video games. I loved it. But it's not gonna help you build a business. So if you sit there, and, and some people then just sit there and scroll on social media and social media and social media, I'm like, realize a lot of that has turned into a news channel now. It's social media thing. is a news channel. It is. So it's a constant stream of endless blah, blah. And if your social media leads you to feel more inspired and pumped to go out there and like and do great stuff, cool, good for you. But for most people that I know, it doesn't. It makes you feel like shit. Yeah. So, so where are you going to spend your time and energy? How about cutting that stuff off and going and doing anything, anything else? Honestly, doing cutting that out and just going for a walk is more productive because you're not getting dragged down further. All right. So, so the other part is is being aware and, and being not careful from the standpoint of like careful, but being aware of who you listen to. If your takeaway is that it's the end of the world and the whole thing is over, for me, I look at that and I go, guys, money is a flow. Okay. Okay, money flows. That's right, it does. Okay, so in 2008, when it was the end of the world, in the US and it all this financial end of the world, we grew 50%. And I asked that, are we gonna be okay? Like, well, why wouldn't we be okay? And they're like, oh, because of the financial crisis and all this stuff. And I said, well, do we own all the currency, perceived currency value of the United States? Yeah. Like, is that our job? Is that our statistic? Does that measure our, our resilience? Are we Goldman Sachs? Yeah. Is that our thing? Yeah. Oh, no, it's not? Oh, okay, good. Then why would it matter? Because the thing is, is when things are going really bad like this, somebody's making money. And it's going to be the people who disagree. And that was my first thing, was I disagreed. When this started happening, I, I saw it, and I saw it. I was living here, this guy did not get off the damn phone. I was like, I just wanted to talk. And he would walk, if you guys have seen the, the AirPods guy, he would walk into the kitchen and I'd be like, yo, Rafferty, what's up, man? You gotta see this on Instagram. He's like. <laughs> but that was it, I disagreed that I couldn't be successful. I disagreed. And you closed two major deals. Okay. And that's how I, I've been, but for some, I think I, what happened with me is I had accumulated loss. I had like my one of my best friends and top guys quit. Yeah. I was sick. Yeah. I couldn't go get my treatment because it was locked down. I also knew because of the medical system and my understanding of health and fitness is on a level that it's like red pill. Right? Like, I understand the human body on a level that 0.1% of the population, like even most doctors, even most gastroenterologists don't understand. And I'm looking at this thing like, this is a scam. And I'm waiting for everyone else to catch up to say, this is a scam. So I'm like, that's a loss. And then the last thing was just like, oh, and your business is shut down. And then I was just like, ugh. And then luckily I came here, and then I see this guy, and he's like, yo, I just closed this big deal. And then he's on the other phone, and yo, I just got another deal. And then he fired me back up into gear after, after in, into gear probably after a couple weeks. Of being here. So. Yeah, so surround yourself with good people. Surround yourself with people who who do disagree, who are just going out there and being successful regardless. Because somebody's making money. When people are losing money, somebody's making it. Okay. It doesn't just disappear. No, that's right. It does. It's going somewhere. 
right. and I want to be on the receiving end of that. Ladies and gentlemen, School of the 1% Rafferty Pendry. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you guys next week. Cheers, bro.